It is the season of Advent, and every year here on the Catholic Guy Show, we open up our Advent calendar and see what kind of fun we've got in store for you. Now, for years, a crowd favorite has been Bob Dylan's Christmas in the Grave. Excuse me, Christmas in the Heart. <laughs> and we always play a little Bob Dylan music to get you into the Advent spirit. Our producer, Tyler, working extra hard, working, <laughs> found <laughs> found a little piece of audio that I'm unfamiliar with, but I'm going to listen to it for the first time on the show. It's William Bill Shatner. Mm. And where did you find this, or what's going on here, Tyler? Oh, I, I own this Christmas album. And so I thought I would uh, share it with you. Yeah, uh, Bill Sh- uh, Bill Shatner. Well, like I, <laughs> like we're, we're such close friends. William Shatner created this Christmas album a couple of years ago called uh, Shatner Claus, and uh, he had just a bunch of songs in it. And I believe every single one of them is done with at least one other person in a cameo role. And he had his own Christmas album and rolled it out. And it sounds just like you would imagine a William Shatner Christmas album to say. I, I thought you were going to say every single song sucks. However, <laughs> I, that I would believe. <laughs> well, that that Lino is 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 very opinionated. Uh, some people like it. I, I've heard a lot of people don't like it. Uh, some people hate it. And, and so, you know, mixed reviews. <laughs> some people don't like it. Some people <laughs> hate it. I don't know if I call those mixed <laughs> reviews. They're just kind of all the same. It, they have varying degrees of hate. It's kind of like if you're, you're burning my image in effigy here and over here, just lightly roasting my image. You go, well, it kind of burning either way. It's a little flame and a little picture of Lino. Well, nonetheless, getting you in the spirit of Advent, as we call it around here, fun Lent, as we prepare our way to Christmas, prepare ye the way of the Lord, prepare your ears for William Shatner's O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Is this a goof? <laughs> I mean, I know it's a, it's goofy. I don't know. Like, It's hard to tell. I, I think... I think he went into it thinking like, oh, you know, people are just naturally not going to like it. But like, I don't think he's trying to be bad. I think he's trying to do the best that he can. Is he's this just not very good at singing? It's spoken word. Yeah, it's it's a spoken word song. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and ransom captive Israel. Israel, Israel, I believe is how it's pronounced when you're singing this song. <laughs> And ransom captive Israel. Oh. <laughs> that mourns in lonely exile here. People who are mourning were the production on this <laughs> album. <laughs> lonely exile in that recording studio going, am I going to put my, they're not going to put my name on this, are they? I'm gonna, I'm, I want to have a career after this. <laughs> recording engineer mourning. <laughs> fact that he was he or she is wasting their lives recording this yeah all set into career exile <laughs> well i know the feeling i work in catholic radio career exile until the son of god appear rejoice, rejoice. Whoa, what is going on who I don't know who that man or woman was. <laughs> Screaming rejoice. I'm not going to call it singing. And then B- William Shatner comes to rejoice. Rejoice. <laughs> it sounds like less like William Shatner and more like D- Dave Chappelle <laughs> as Rick James. I'm Rick James. Rejoice. <laughs> rejoice. I, I'm not joking around when I say, you know, in, in my in my younger days, I, I experimented with some drugs and some psychedelics and that kind of thing. But even on my worst trips, I never had this going on in my brain. <laughs> this is horrible. Now, the season of Advent is, in fact, supposed to be a penitential season. The, ad, the, the Advent season is penitential in the same way Lent is penitential on our way to Easter. 
But this yeah. isn't penitential. This is cruel. <laughs> this is unnecessarily mean spirited, Bill Shatner. <laughs> Listening to this, you have to wonder if if William Shatner actually even likes Jesus. <laughs> I don't. I know. I, I don't know, Tyler. I'm not. I'm not talking about somebody's faith of which I know nothing. But is he Christian? And I, I, that sounds like a weird question. I'm not. I'm not judging if he's Christian or not. I'm curious if William Shatner made a Christmas album. If that meant, I mean, here he is saying, "O come, O come, Emmanuel." Like he's he's. He's saying what every Christian is supposed to be saying this time of year, like, come, Lord Jesus, ransom captive Israel. Israel. Uh, that's what he's saying. I get it. Huh. I don't think he's religious. I, he's making me believe less and less in God as I, <laughs> the more I listen to this, the less I believe. <laughs> It's not bad when he's not involved. To be fair. Yeah, the person did, did a decent job, I gotta say. The singer. Yeah. The professional <laughs> singer did an okay job singing this song. I guess if William Shatner is just a professionally a professional talker, he's doing an okay job. In ancient times, it's I was about to rejoice that I didn't hear Bill Shatner talk anymore. I was about to say, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. I got to say, the, not only is, is the spoken word aspect of it bad, but the entire mix down of it's horrible, too. Like, you have this singer who's like, it feels like she's like 100 feet away from the microphone. And then all of a sudden she gets drowned out by the music, which also gets drowned out by the spoken word of William Shatner. I'm gonna go out on a limb. Just all over. The place. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say whoever was mixing this didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> William Shatner didn't care. Why would they? 